Christy Young here with Mrs. Young's Teaching Corner. Are you wanting to provide your students with more interactive activities that you can assess during distance learning? Well, today I'm going to show you how to use interactive Google Slides in your Google Classroom. Okay, so first you have to have an interactive Google Slide. You have two options. You can make one or you can buy one. If you go to Teachers Pay Teachers and type in Interactive Google Slide, there are a few options available. I also have some on my Teachers Pay Teachers store. When I personally make Google Slides, I like to create my templates in PowerPoint because I'm most familiar with that program. And then I like to download it as a PNG file. And then upload it as a background. When you upload the main image as a background, it will lock the image to the screen so it is not movable. Any images you add after that will be movable. After you have created your Google slide that you would like to share with your class, you're going to go to File, click Share, then you're going to click Advanced in the bottom right hand corner and change the setting to anyone with a link. Once you have the link, you're gonna to go to your Google Classroom, click Assignment, click Upload, Link. Once you have done that, you need to change the setting to say, make a copy for each student. Okay, so here's an example of what a student would see after you've assigned them a Google Slide. When they click on the slide, their computer screen will look like this. And this is a template that I created where the students are filling in the blend with some digital magnetic letters. So they hover over. I did create an audio here where they can listen to the word. Blender. Bowl. And then they can drag the sounds that they hear into the boxes. And they can check it again by clicking on the audio Blender. sound. Right there. Then they can go to the next slide and do the next one. Blocks. Locks. When your student is done, all of the work that they have done will show up on their assignment when they turn it in. So you can go back as a teacher and assess whether or not they got it correctly. And you can even write comments on it in the Google Classroom. Hope this helps.